I've done it. I've finally hacked YouTube. I have figured out how to upload any custom thumbnail you want to your YouTube show. And this is how you do it. So you may already know this by now, but if you create a YouTube short through the mobile app, you can choose a single frame from the video to be your custom thumbnail for that YouTube short. But there are still problems with this. Obviously, you're limited to the images in the video itself. And if you're on desktop, you can't even do that. No custom thumbnails whatsoever. And as far as we can tell, this is as good as it's gonna get because YouTube said this in a recent YouTube update video. We don't have any plans to release the ability to upload fully custom thumbnails like on long form videos. Since the vast majority of shorts watch time comes from the feed where thumbnails are not shown. Now this is actually really annoying for us because a lot of our YouTube shorts views actually come from search. So we'd love to show off those videos with custom thumbnails because currently they look garbage. So here's the unofficial way to upload a custom thumbnail to a YouTube show. I don't know how long this exploit's gonna last, and if it stops working, don't blame me. For this to work, you have to create the thumbnail at the same time you are making your short, and then add the custom thumbnail to the start of your video. It could be any length of time, maybe half a second. That ultimately is irrelevant but it needs to be at the start of a video. Next, however you wanna do it, you need to get that video onto your mobile phone because from here, you can choose a custom thumbnail. From your phone in the YouTube app, create a short and then use a clip you just sent to your phone that has the custom thumbnail at the start of it. Once you get to the video details screen, you can tap the pencil icon to select a thumbnail. Make sure you scrub over the timeline so that the thumbnail element of the video is selected. Add all of the other bits you need to, and then you can upload the short to your channel. That will solve your YouTube short custom thumbnail dilemma. But now you've got a problem because you've got these extra frames at the beginning of your short. How are you gonna solve them? Back onto the computer. This is where in the video details of the short, you can take advantage of YouTube's built-in video editor. It includes a trim and cut function. So zoom into the video timeline as much as possible and then trim off any frames that include the thumbnail image. Make sure to save the changes and that should remove the evidence whilst keeping that custom thumbnail. As you can see on both the channel page and YouTube search pages, we have our custom thumbnail. Excellent. Although there is at least one problem with this solution. If you use a YouTube short feature like adding sound, this will prevent you from using the desktop video editor. It might apply to other YouTube short features too, so you may want to do some testing. And of course, you only get one chance. You can't change the thumbnail once it's uploaded to YouTube. This loophole could be fixed very quickly by YouTube, but my question to them is, why? Why are you making it so hard for us to upload custom thumbnails to YouTube Shorts? In preparation for this video, I did a poll on our community tab and more than two thirds would like the option to upload a custom thumbnail. But I guess it is YouTube's house, YouTube's rules. And if you wanna learn more about how to get more views from your YouTube Shorts, here's 36 hacks. Wow, 